Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to At Home Cooking with me, Miss Angie, and my cooking buddy, Gianna. Today, I noticed when I woke up in the fridge that we have some strawberries that we haven't really eaten a lot in the past few days and they're about to go bad. So today, I decided we are going to make a simple homemade strawberry jam that literally just takes minutes. So before we get started, as always, Gianna and I washed our hands. Make sure you wash your hands before any type of cooking. So once you do that, we are gonna show you the ingredients that you will need this morning. So the first thing we have is we already pre-sliced two cups of fresh strawberries. And then I already pre-measured six tablespoons of cold water. So make sure you have some cold water six tablespoons, and then we're gonna use four teaspoons of cornstarch. That's going to help us thicken our homemade jam. And then we are going to need four tablespoons of some sugar. Good, and then you'll just need a bowl and a fork or a little whisk, a heavy pot, and I happen to have like a potato masher here, but you can also use a fork or anything that you need that you can use to mash your berries. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the heat on the stove to like a medium setting. And your cooking partner can help you turn the stove on, so I'm gonna do that to like a medium setting. And the great thing about this recipe is if you don't have strawberries, you can use any type of berries. You can use blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Um, great for any type of berries that you might have in the fridge this time of year. So Gianna's gonna pour all the strawberries into the pot and then she's gonna start mashing them up. Get them in there, good. <laughs> One left, that's all right. Are you got it? Okay, good. Excellent. And then take the masher and just start mashing. And this is all, you can also mash your berries before you put them in the pot. Also a good tip, if you don't wanna have the pot on, the stove on, you can do it before. So you can mash up your berries, then have your cooking buddy help you put the pot on the stove and then turn it on. So that's also a good tip. So you just gotta quickly mash and it's okay that they're a little chunky because it's homemade, right? It's not gonna be totally smooth and it shouldn't be. This I was also thinking is a great, you can use this jam, yes, of course, for peanut butter and jelly, right? Um, put your jam on some bread and some toast. But you can also, previously we made a three ingredient sugar cookie. So this is also great. I don't know if you've seen the sugar cookies with a little jam in the center, but you can make the three ingredient sugar cookies, put your little thumb in there, right? Before you bake it, and then put a little scoop of your jam in the center of your cookie, and then you have homemade Sugar cookies with a little homemade jam. Super great for a present, right? If you need to take um, some cookies to a friend's house or give them as a gift, just put them in a little box with a little bow. Also, if you have a little jar, this is a cute idea for a little mason jar. So you make some homemade jam, no matter what kind of berries you're making, throw some in a cute little glass jar, throw a ribbon on it, and that's perfect for a little um, a gift for a friend. So keep that in mind too. But today we're just gonna eat ours, right? Good, so now we have our strawberries all mashed. So in the bowl, Gianna's gonna dump in the water. And then she's gonna find a teaspoon and she's gonna put in four teaspoons of cornstarch. So that is going to help thicken our jam. That's what makes it thick. So it's not all runny. Yep, so four teaspoons into the bowl, good. While you're doing that, G, I'm gonna still mash some strawberries. It's fun to mash stuff, right? Tablespoons of our sugar. 
So that's gonna give it a little sweet. Four tablespoons of sugar. And I haven't tried this recipe with the agave sugar, but you might wanna try it. A little more natural and see how it works. Maybe do half sugar, half honey. I haven't tried that either, but I would try it. All right, and then she's gonna whisk that up together. Until it's all combined. This is gonna be good, I can tell already. Excellent. And then as soon as you get it mixed together, you're just gonna dump that in your pot. And then you're gonna turn the heat down to low and you're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes until it starts bubbling. So go ahead and dump it in. Good. Then give it a whisk. Excellent. And that's all you need to do. So. As soon as you get your ingredients in there, give it a little stir, then you're gonna let it sit on the stove for about five minutes or so, or at least until it starts bubbling. You want it to start bubbling. And then it's going to be done. As Soon as it starts bubbling, again, give it a little stir, take it off the heat and see how thick it is. And it should be ready as soon as you cool it to spread on some bread. So we're gonna check it out. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna simmer for about five minutes and we're gonna come back and we're gonna let you know how it, how it goes. Good luck guys. Hi guys, welcome back. So I noticed when we were cooking our um, strawberry jam on the stove that I had to keep the heat kind of like at a medium temperature. Everyone's stove is different. So mine's really old. So I kind of had to keep the heat a little higher in order for it to boil. So um, for, you know, bubbles, make sure you got the bubbles going on. That's what really makes it um, get thick because you have to have that bubble action going on. So just have your cooking buddy help you adjust the temperature of the stove to make sure it's at a good temperature where it can bubble for at least five minutes. Then it gets really nice and thick. So then what we did is we took it off the stove, we placed it, ours in a little glass bowl, and put it in the refrigerator. So you really have to let it cool down all the way, which may take some time um, in order for you to put it on your toast. So. But it's done and I want you to see how pretty it is. I'm gonna show you how thick and pretty. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that awesome? And look, you can. mine's still not all the way, you can see it steaming a little bit. It's not all the way cool. So I'm gonna put it back in the fridge, but we are gonna taste it for you guys really quick because I know it's gonna be great. So I have my little English muffin here and Gianna has her toast. And look at that, and I have some chunks of strawberries already. How awesome, right? Go ahead and take a bite, G, let us know. Homemade strawberry jam, excellent. So please enjoy. Send me some pictures of your homemade jam, I'd love to see it. Give it to your friends for some gifts. It's a great way to start the summer, making homemade jam. We will see you guys next time, bye.